1953. This magnificent facility has been the site of many exciting CFL games and the Grey Cup. This afternoon, the top two teams in the West meet to decide the Western representative for the Grey Cup. The winner will head east to Montreal's Olympic Stadium one week from today to do battle with the Eastern Conference champion, Hamilton Tiger Cats. The defending Grey Cup champion Winnipeg Blue Bombers, led by quarterback Tom Clements, have won three in a row under the dome. The BC Lions this year have the CFL's best record, 13 wins and three losses. Two of those losses to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in a home-and-home -home series back in October. So the stage is set for what is rapidly turning into a CFL West tradition for the third year in a row, British Columbia and Winnipeg in the final. Across the inlet, close to 60,000 fans are anxiously awaiting the start of what everyone expects will be one of the best played and most entertaining CFL games of the season. Working with me today, as usual, a man who made his mark as a coach and a man who made the Hall of Fame as a player. Well, Ron, as the fans can observe, BC places jammed to the Raptors today, and I think crowd noise is going to be a factor. Well, Leo, I'm a believer in this. Two good football teams and probably a great football game in the Western Finals. You need it noisy, and what better place to have it than right here? Oh, that's for sure. And you know, the question on everyone's mind is, can the Lions win without the services of wide receiver Merv Fernandez? You know, back in 1983, they beat the Bombers and deserved the right to go against the Toronto Argonauts. The Argonauts hadn't won the Great Cup in 31 years, but won that one. But in 1984 was a different year, Ron. Well, it sure was. The Lions had everything going for them in 83, but they come right back out to the dome for the 1984 Western Final. Only this time, Tom Clement and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers got things going in on their way. And in a big offensive performance, they went on and defeated the BC Lions 31-14, and they win the Great Cup. So I think we're all set for probably one of the biggest games over the years, the Western Final. Joining us today again, Steve Armony down on the sidelines, and if the noise isn't too bad, he's got a lot of things to say. What do you got down there, Steve? Ron, one of the big stories last week in the Eastern semifinal was the weather in Montreal. I guarantee you one thing, under the dome here at BC Place Stadium, the weather will not be a factor. when they lost here two years ago was very, very critical of the noise level. And with 60,000 fans in attendance, it could very, very well be a factor here this afternoon. Right now, let's meet the players for the CFL Western Final. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting defense for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Wearing number 75, starting nose tackle, Stan Mikowas. Starting at right defensive end, Tony Norman! Wearing number 60, starting left defensive end, Hassan Arbabakar! Wearing number 35, starting linebacker, Tyrone Jones! Number 69, starting at linebacker, Gary Moulton. Wearing number 76, starting at linebacker, Daryl Patterson. Wearing number 58, starting at linebacker, James West. Number 23, starting at left cornerback, Roy Bennett. Wearing number 36, starting at right cornerback, David Shaw. Wearing number 28, starting at right halfback, Wiley Turner. Number 24, starting at left halfback, Ken Haley. Wearing number 14, starting at safety, Scott Flagel. Interim head coach, Fred Flick, and the rest of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Columbia Lions will be. And now, let's meet the 
starting offensive lineup for the British Columbia Lions. Starting at center, wearing number 52, Al Wilson. Starting at guard, wearing number 65, Gerald Roper. Guard wearing number 54, Glenn Leonard. Starting a tackle, wearing number 68, John Blaine. Starting a tackle, wearing number 61, Brian Illebron. Starting a slot back, wearing number 21, John Pankrat. Starting a slot back, wearing number 16, Ron Robinson. Starting at wide receiver, wearing number three, Jim Van. Starting at wide receiver, wearing number eight, Ned Armour. Starting at running back, wearing number 20, John Henry White. Running back, wearing number 14, Freddie Sims. Starting at quarterback, wearing number nine, Roy about all year quarterbacks have to come up big in a big game like this and Roy DeWald especially has to come up big today his leading receiver Fernandez is out of there it might be a blessing in disguise because he'll go to his other receivers a lot more and Winnipeg won't know exactly where he's going to throw that football but it's also important that he uses his running back keep the ball away from Winnipeg don't let them have the football throw screen passes roll out do what they have to do to get away from the rush anything you can do to keep the ball away from Winnipeg and move that football down the field now on the other side of the line of scrimmage, defense is important. The front four are going to have to carry that load again today. And all three of those four guys that made the all-star team, Nick Hebler is the only guy that hasn't made it run. He's going to make the selectors wish they picked him. Well, if the BC Lions are going to win today, they better control the front seven of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And in particular, that set of linebackers. That is the key to the Winnipeg defense. And on that defensive line, linebacker front, they've got a one-man wrecking crew in Tyrone Jones, who's the Shenley nominee this year for the defensive player of the year. He said it all the other night at the dinner when he just goes out and knocks people down and intimidates them. The other inside linebacker, Daryl Patterson, has two interceptions this year. One of them was on the goal line against the BC Lions right here under the dome that helped them win. And when you talk about offense, the man that's got to do the job is Tom Clement. He plays at such a high level all the time that people expect him to be unbeatable. Today he's going to have to be unbeatable because he's facing an awful good football team. Well, we're going to get another guy for the Great Cup finalists next week in Montreal. Let's go back to Brian Williams and see some highlights of today's Eastern Finals. Thank you, Ron. Good